how's the knee this week? I guess we asked you that last week in media day. But yeah, definitely. Still feeling fine. Oh, it feels amazing. Um, today was probably the best. You know, I felt uh, running out there. You know, just getting more confident right now, getting my sticks down pat, just uh, making moving around becoming a subconscious thing again. So I feel amazing for sure. Have you talked with trainers or coaches about when you might be able to shed the blue jersey? Is that the, oh yeah, the we're thing? you know we're yeah we're hoping to get it off soon, which uh, I think we'll get it off here. You know, no time at all, probably less than a week, hopefully. Coach Price said you wanted to probably bite someone's head off to get on the field over the summer. What's it been like to finally get back on the field after? Yeah. That yeah, um, man, it's uh, it makes you appreciate the game so much more when you uh, you know have to step away from it and you know watch all spring, um, you know. So, you know, just this whole summer, all spring, you know, I just you know basically gave up my life um, rehabbing, you know, the extracurricular activities I really had to give up to get back on, and uh, you know I'm not taking it for granted. I'm fucking I'm sorry, I'm loving being out at practice right now. <laughs> with, with Benji's had to go through the two years in a row. Mm -hmm. Did you learn anything from him about the rehab process? Maybe take a few things that he went through. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, I, we lived together, so I was I was basically asking him questions every day. You know, you know how to go about it and stuff like that. And uh, you know, a lot of times, you know, maybe I wasn't feeling the best one day. You know, I'd be like, hey, what is this? Why is this happening? And he just give me reassurance, like, hey, it's nothing. That's what happens and stuff like that. So he's definitely been a, a great tool to have. You know, and uh, you know, going through it, you know, I, I definitely couldn't have any time to feel sorry for myself and be like, oh, why this happened? Because he's done it twice, so it really was nothing. Do you feel like a big season's coming for him? Um, I hope so, yeah. that's He's he's playing really good ball right now, you know. Um, he's really big right now, and he's still moving around pretty good, so uh, that's the goal. You said his knee was, feels better than prior to the first time he toured the ACL. What have you seen out of him and how he's worked? Yeah, I, I you know, uh, I'm sure um, he feels that way because right now, you know, he's looked probably the best he's ever had right now in the run game and even in the passing game. You know, his routes are looking like, you know, a heavy receiver. <laughs> what was the biggest challenge during that, during the past six, seven months when, you know, you were restricted, you couldn't really, at least, you know, spring practice, you couldn't get out there on the field. You had to focus on your rehab. And yeah. You were limited in that. Yeah, I would say the first, the hardest part is the first three weeks. You know, you come to a – phase where you have to do crushes and you're really you know you're relying on other people they're having to you know bring you your food take you to your car drive you around so those are the hardest part because you have to be so um, relying on other people um, so uh, I would say that's really the hardest part because you know once you get to start moving around you know taking step by step is actually really fun because you get new wins every single day and then you know through spring it was I, I think it was actually pretty cool for me because I kind of got to step back and um, go through like a um, coach's perspective. I got to be like an extra coach on the field um, during the spring. I think it helped me, you know, um, for the fall for sure. I remember the first time you made a cut on your left knee. It was like, okay, it's bad. Yeah, I, I mean, I made cuts a lot a long before they were, uh, you know, they told me I should testing it out. But uh, I wouldn't say there was one specific one where I like, oh, I'm ready. You know, you you ease into it day by day. So I wouldn't say there's one specific. But gaining the confidence each time you're playing it. Yeah. Is that due over time to where now all of a sudden you're not thinking about it and just becoming back and back? Yeah, I would say it's just like anything. The more reps you get at it, you know, it's just like shooting a basketball. You know, you shoot 300 threes, then it comes a subconscious thing. So I think it's, uh, you know, getting basically proprioception back into your leg, you know, mind muscle connection without having to think about it. So it's basically just doing it over and over and over again until you're not thinking about it and subconscious. What's the ultimate goal for you to be ready for week one? Or 100%. Yeah. For all the people who maybe aren't in your team, uh, Lane Norton fans, kind of yeah. what are some of those big things that you pulled from those guys? Maybe not in rehab before that, you kind of like planning your regimen. Um, the biggest thing um, for that is just nutrition. You dot nutrition and sleep. You know, people. You know, you can do all the other stuff you want. You know all these biohacking things, you know, cold tub and all that stuff, but it comes down to you, you know, are, are you eating enough protein? Are you getting your collagen in? Are you eating enough connected tissue through me? And then are you sleeping eight to 10 hours a night? I think that's the biggest thing. Is it hard to say that discipline even in the season? Obviously the off season. It's actually, here it's not, you know, uh, we, we do afternoon practices and that's what I love about this staff. They, you know, they allow you um, to focus on getting your sleep so you can, uh, you, there's no problem getting eight to 10 hours of sleep. You've been experimenting with tubs, stuff like 
Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you know, it's kind of crazy we have that right now. It's it's uh, it's super nice. You know, they've got a infrared sauna. You know, it's basically like a big pool out there. So new facilities are awesome. What do you see from some of the younger guys like Aiden, who obviously took on a bigger role as the season progressed, to Kai, who seemed like he was going to play at least a role last year before mm-hmm. that freak injury at Rutgers. What have you seen from some of those guys? You know, I, you know, basically the same thing, you know, y'all are seeing. They're coming along, uh, run game, you know, learning – you know, the motions, getting locked into the signals, getting lined up faster, shifting and stuff like that. And then overall, they're making plays. You know, Takai's been making a ton of plays this fall camp. So as Aiden, you know, it's basically what y'all have seen. You know, they've, you know, they've taken step by step.